Last month, Sony released Little Big Planet on the PS Vita. We got to talk to Dave and Matthias from Tarsia Studios about the game, about DLC, about what you can do if you already own Little Big Planet, and various other things. Enjoy the interview. Okay, so my name is Matt, and I'm the executive producer at Tarsia Studios Sweden. Uh, hi, I'm Dave. I'm the narrative designer at Tosha Studios in Sweden. Right, so tell us about the game we're here to see today. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll take that one. Uh, yeah, this takes place on a planet called Carnivalia, um, which is uh, under the control of a, a mysterious figure known as the Puppeteer. Uh, and now he's using that planet to, to create joy across the universe, uh, only to steal it for himself. Uh, and, uh, and it's down to Sackboy to uh, discover why and discover the identity of this mysterious figure. So the, uh, this mysterious figure, the Puppeteer, would that be the same mysterious figure, the Puppeteer, from the new forthcoming game, The Puppeteer? No. <laughs> no. I only found out about that at Gamescom as well. Like, no. <laughs> right, so that's that line of questioning out the window. Um, so you, it's set on a new world. Tell us a little bit about the, more about the world. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's obviously uh, there's five new worlds and they're, uh, they're all carnival inspired. We have like a, a roller coaster themed world. We have, um, we have uh, a haunted house world and a very, very traditional carnival world, which is where the whole story starts, where Sackboy meets like an eccentric ringmaster known as Colonel Flounder who, who trains Sackboy to, to fulfill his quest. Uh, all the characters uh, are pretty crazy. It's, you know, tr tradition in a little big planet, really. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't want to spoil too much of a surprise. Though, hopefully, this story is still a surprise for for people when they get to the end. So. Excellent. Uh, talk about some of the multiplayer options in uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, four player online multiplayer, and you can play thanks to 3G and Wi-Fi. You can play anywhere with your friends, and you also have a near functionality which allows you to then. Uh, challenge friends or, or anyone really in the vicinity you know if you think you do really good in level you know you can leave that as a challenge for anyone that comes along and um, obviously you can also download community levels that has been created if you would you know end up in a place where you wouldn't be connected in a, you know, an aircraft for example you can download levels before you know play them offline and so this is some of the some of the, the ways you can play with others but you can actually also play on the same device we have a couple of mini games where you actually play like a, like a hockey game and a boxing game where you actually you know, play on the same device together. Excellent. Um, talk about some of the customization in the game, because obviously it's an incredibly customizable game. So uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, with the, with the camera functionality of the Vita, you know, you can literally, wherever you are, you can just, if you see something cool like this very lovely leopard print cushion, uh, you can take a picture of that and save that out as a sticker. Uh, and then bring that into your game and really personalise whether it's something that you've created yourself or if it's you know if you want to pimp up our story levels as well. You know, you, I think we've shown videos of us uh, defiling the face of our community manager Simon with fried eggs. <laughs> so yeah, you can do what you like really. So uh, yeah. Excellent. And um, what about all those people who've got costumes from previous games? Are they going to be able to use them? Well. Funny you should ask that. Like, yes, you absolutely can. Uh, everything that you've bought in the past on uh, Little Big Planet 2 you can, uh, is all available free of charge on, uh, on Little Big Planet Vita. Okay. Talk about uh, Create Mode. That looks very, very interesting. Tell us a bit about Create Mode. Yeah, well, I think it's the most powerful. Uh, certainly, it's extremely intuitive Create Mode. Uh, We've, so much so that, that you know, with the with the new touchscreen functionality, it's making it's making create mode feel even more accessible than ever before. You know, people, you, you've got all the on-screen buttons there. Uh, you can you can create a, a simple scene in a matter of seconds simply by drawing uh, drawing with uh, your finger. Uh, what about memorizer? What's that? Super clever. Uh, it's cleverer than I am, but uh, I will do my best. Uh, for, Essentially what it does is uh, it, it, it saves whatever input you tell it to, so um, you can make anything from a, a, an expansive role playing game with quest items and, and having to meet certain characters down to more bite sized experiences. Um, and what we've done with, uh, in the arcade on the story planet, we have actually 
included uh, some examples of games that you can create. Uh, you can create multi-stage games or with its own custom HUD uh, that remembers your progress so you get through say three levels come back to that game later it remembers you up to there and uh, I mean that's just one example of what, what the memorizer does but the community as ever will go wild with it and show us things that, that no one's thought of it. And talking of the community it's got a huge huge following hasn't it? So uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the reaction the community's had to uh, Little Big Planet Theatre? Yeah, I, think, I mean, so far it's been great, and I mean, we have we brought in a lot of the community uh, to the company as we started out. I mean, because we weren't we had all done costumes before, you know, for helping Mina Molecule, you know. So we, we knew we needed the best people on the job. So we recruited some people straight from the community, and they just went in, and and that's also the reason we 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 could we knew that we were doing the right thing because they went into you know creating the create more enhancing tools, etc. Because they knew what they had been lacking before in the create mode, so they've been you know, helping out a lot. And on top of that, we also had game jams where we brought in some of the people you know, to get early hands on and try and come with feedback so we could adjust the tools you know, f to their liking before we actually release the game. Well, obviously the Vita brings some uh, unique qualities to the game. Has it brought any unique challenges to the development? I think from the beginning it was the, the simple fact that uh, the Vita didn't exist when we got the job. So it was, that would do it. <laughs> that would do it. So would you want to take over one of the biggest franchises uh, that's going to be on a new device that doesn't exist? That was the that was the question we got, you know, a little over two years ago. So what you obviously said yes, yes. Let's do it. Of course. <laughs> and obviously, looking at the game, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a really good game. Excellent job. Thanks very much. Um, so most important thing, when's it out? Next week, isn't it? September the nineteenth. Excellent. And are there any plans for new DLC that you can talk about, or uh, is that kind of a bit under wraps? There's nothing announced yet, no, but uh, as you've seen in past Little Big Planets, then uh, traditionally there is support and DLC, so perhaps. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. That was a little bit of excitement, wasn't it?